Hello buddy and welcome to Jim Games. Ship hunting with Jim on Starfield. How does this work, eh? Yeah. Did you bet you didn't know you could ship hunt on Starfield? Yes you can. Right? Nobody's doing it, just me. Okay. I'm gonna wait for a bigger content creator to copy the idea. And there we go. Right, now then ship hunting, right? Yeah, it's easy. Ships land all the time on planets in Starfield. They do. And what you can do is you can raid them and take them over. Well, probably the reason why other people don't do it is because you don't get much re re return from it. I believe the return you get is about 10,000 credits per ship, right? But we're going to do it anyway, right? Because this is how I like doing this. So you've got to find yourself a system. What I do is I find myself a moon, I'm waiting for a bigger content creator to nick the idea, which they will. Right, okay, you find a moon. I want to show you a process you should do. Zero gravity moon, I'll show you why, okay. Because they land more on zero gravity moons because for some reason in Starfield, ships land on these moons because they are the exploration ships looking for resources. Okay, yeah, you know that. You know, it's just common sense, okay. So, go to make a base, right? You can make a base. Ships spawn at your base area, right? They do. But they also spawn other places as well, so you can run, find a random place on a planet, but ships will spawn at your base area more. Like this one is here, okay? They're not here to raid your base, but they will land. And all you need to do is go up to one of these ships, which is over here, as you can see, right? That was just a standard ship. Not a very good one, mine, right? And you take it and sell it. It was simple. You got to register them, right? Which I think when you register a ship, it's about um, 50 or 60 percent of the actual value of the ship, okay? And then the rest you get, you know, in profit. So that's how much it is, really. So what you're doing is using your health and your own bullets to get ships. Right, you are effectively taking them over. I look for spacers and Viroon ships. Okay, spacers and Viroon. Currently, I am a Crimson Fleet, right? So I do not need to, you know, go for the pirates ships. Anyway, I don't like pirate. The pirate ships are awful. This one here currently is a Viroon Litany ship, right? It's a little tiny Viroon ship. They're all completely black. And I'll show you. Okay. I'll do the zoom in part on this video to this ship. But we're not going to go for this ship. So I've got it already. And you don't want one of these ships stuck at the other side of the galaxy. Because you have to do about 10 jumps to get back. Right. There it is. Okay. A Viroon. Right. With a search party. Yeah. Anyway. This is a UC Vanguard. Right, Watchdog 3. Okay, I do not go for the UC Vanguard ships because I'm Vanguard already. Okay, and they put loads of heat on your back. Anyway, folks, I'm going to make in future videos, the next one, this is just part one. In future videos, I'm going to get ships, I'm going to raid them, and I'm going to sell them all in front of you. How's that? Anyway, I'll see you in part two.